What is up guys, it's your boy Lil Cardi and I'm back again with some more workout videos. Thank you guys for always being supportive and make sure to check out, excuse me one second, make sure to check out Bucked Up Pre-Workout. It's the greatest pre-workout known to mankind. This stuff will get you pumped. It's the best stuff ever. Use the code LILCARDI1 uh, on their website for 20% off your entire order. It's great. If you guys want some free samples, go to my Instagram, underscore Carter, underscore Wade, underscore, and now to the video, okay? Today we are going to be talking, and yes, I did shave, so don't worry about that one. We'll go into that a little bit later in the video, probably. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's a part two. I don't know. But we're going to be talking about fighting childhood obesity and obesity in America. Look, ladies and gents. America has some of the highest obesity rates in the entire world. It has some of the highest childhood obesity in the entire world. It's a problem. And these are a few steps I think we could and should do to, um, you know, oh my gosh, my 20% battery thing just came on. Sorry about that. But um, these are a few steps I think we need to implement to, uh, yes, I'm in the gym. I just took my good workout. Um, I'm getting ready to head in after it kicks in. But um, these are a few steps that I think we need to do to end it. Alright, so first thing on this list is going to be we need to have McDonald's and all these fast food companies stop marketing to children, okay? I sh we, children should not be seeing ads for Big Macs while they're watching Nickelodeon. That's not okay, alright? That's one step. Step two, we need to lower the portion sizes. The portion sizes in America are bigger than in any other country in the world. I mean, there's a correlation between all of this. Step three, we need to pop, pop, pop. The most unhealthy drinks. Oh my goodness. Pop is horrible. I haven't drank pop in like at least a year. It's horrible for you, okay? Look, we need to have uh, 16, 18, we need some sort of age as the minimum drinking age of to buy pop because it's not good at all kids meals shouldn't have pop anymore I mean that's horrible um, and at schools we need to have minimum fitness requirements that kids have to attain I mean every child should be able to run a mile I, I'm not saying that there has to be a certain time but every child should be at least able to run a mile um, kids should be able to do men boys should be able to do at least one pull-up um, girls, you know, it'd be nice if girls could do a pull-up too. I mean, maybe assist, one assisted pull-up. I mean, but basically we just need to, you know, put fitness first, okay? I mean, when you have, I mean, look at the President of the United States of America. We have an obese man as the President of the United States of America that is representing us. I mean, we're literally known around the world as just being a bunch of fat idiots. That's not what America is, all right? We gotta get a hold of this. We gotta change this, all right? And people, 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 all right. I know there's a lot of negativity about the gym. I know that a lot of people don't like to go to the gym. They don't wanna go to the gym. Everybody should be going to the gym. In fact, the government should, we should pay part of our taxes instead of, you know, spending, what, a ton of money on uh, defense and military. You know, just a little bit of that money, community gym centers for everybody to go to for free. Because fitness is a necessity in life, okay? You should be working out. If you want to make it to 50, 60, whatever, or if you just want to look good, fitness, okay? If you want to live, fitness. Fitness is how you live, okay? It's the, it is so important. Fitness is just as important as drinking water, in my opinion. You have to be fit, or at least, you know, active. I mean, people nowadays, you guys just sit on, play video games all day, and you guys just sit inside all day. You don't go outside, you don't, I mean, for God's sakes, it's like 92 degrees right now, and I'm sure like half the people inside right now are, uh, half, pe half the people like here at the city of Columbus are inside playing a video game or something. I mean, you guys gotta get out, go for a walk, go for a hike. Go kayaking, go swimming. I mean, it's pretty easy. There, every, there's places everywhere. Go to the gym. You know, go for a run. Go fishing. Just gotta be active, 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 active. Okay. You shouldn't be sitting in front of a screen. Okay. But you can sit in front of a screen if you're watching this video. It's just like 10 minutes out of your day, and I know you guys want 10 minutes out of your day 
to be on me. It means so much to me. I do understand why you'd want to skip a leg day, though. I mean, even me, yes. I, uh, I've been known to treat leg day like I treat my girlfriends. Ignoring them and letting them disappear. It happens. Nobody likes leg day, but you gotta do them. You know, just like once every week. You know. Gotta do them. Or else you'll be able to bench press more than you can squat. Not admitting to anything. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys. Kind of. Not really. I'm just playing with you guys. I definitely hate...